Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. 60 second stretches to get the knots from your shoulders mm. and your traps and your upper back. Oh, you know. It's kind the, of the tension area of the body for a lot of people. Right, it shows up there, doesn't tight, it? Yep. So, and we know you don't have time for this. You don't have time for pain. Right. So we're gonna give you just fast ones you can do you know, throughout the day. It's you know? not fun, it wastes time. Right. It gets you ornery. Right. We don't need that. I'm glad you said ornery, not <laughs> whatever. Um, by the way, we have a couple new uh, people out there. There Brad. they are. Hi, welcome to our channel. Uh, please take a second to subscribe to us. We have a subscription button there or there, and we provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Excellent. Here we go. The first one, Brad, is just a simple one. This is the one you can do throughout the day. Not only does it kind of release the tension a little bit, but it puts you in good posture. Sure. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your shoulders up. You're gonna bring them back, and you're gonna squeeze them together. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Up, back, squeeze together. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Do you down. have to go like this? It helps. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I just wonder, I want to clarify it, Bob. All right, next one, Brad. This one's a little more complicated, so you're gonna to have to follow along, yeah, okay? Yeah, I'll do it. So you're gonna elevate the shoulder. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one. He doesn't even like this one, I don't think. <laughs> Elevate the shoulder, bring it back, bring the neck back, ear to shoulder, and then turn away. And then tighten while you're doing it. So it's tightening all these muscles that are already tight. And the idea is if you tighten them up a you muscle. You maximally, you fatigue it out. You're yeah, trying to fatigue it. Then it will relax afterwards. Okay, I'll do this one one more time on this side. So you bring the shoulder up, back, neck back, ear to shoulder, turn away, tighten. You're turning away from the yeah. shoulder. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta make the face too, Brad. I make the face. Okay, oh, yeah, so I we're gonna do the other it. one now. Yeah. Shoulder up, back, neck back, ear to shoulder, and tighten. Yeah. There's a lot of little. Uh, yeah, kind of, a lot of little little turns. Yeah, we'll and have a test that on one, that so. next week. All right, another one is is again. This one works for posture, but it also. A lot of times the knots are coming from the neck. Sure. And, and so uh, we want you to do some chin tucks. We, we know we've, we've shown these a million times, haven't we, Brad? Well, at least a million. You sound like a broken record. Yeah, the old standby. Yeah, chin tucks. And then you're going to go ahead and, and work on some extension too, because a lot of times that'll help uh, relieve it. And if not, if that doesn't feel good, you might do it with a towel. Oh, I brought a towel over already. Oh, Bob. Right. Thank you. I knew you'd get something for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Again, oh, it, it, like yeah, it may not seem like it, yeah, but a lot, sometimes, that, and it may not be immediate, but I, you keep doing these and you may find out over a day or two that it starts taking the knots out of your shoulders. Right. And if nothing else, it's, it's good for your neck and it's also good for your posture. So, if for some yeah. reason you do that and you get some sharp pains or get some other unusual pains, then it, it may not be for you, but for the majority of people, it's going to be fine. Now, this is the one I've said many times. This is the one that's worked for me, and, and especially if I, start, if I start getting some pain up in here. I do the chin tuck, and then I bend to that side, and that's all I do, and I do it repeatedly. You know, like I'll do it every hour, you know, 10 to 15 times. And I know, I have a feeling that people are going to say they're going to do that, but they say, yeah, but it's stretching the muscle over here. Yeah, and that's not the idea. We're, right. we're working on the joints of the neck. And sure. That's what, and that what may, may be sending the pain down into your neck. Exactly. Now, I wouldn't do uh, any of these if they really start to hurt. Like, right. I wouldn't be doing these into the pain range. Um, and these, too, if this makes it worse, stop. Right. Uh, and you might right. even try the other direction yeah. then. I mean, you could go oh. a couple, three times and it may be irritable, but after that, it should start clearly improving. Right. If you you, you want to say, oh, that, that is the answer, isn't it? That, right. feels, that feels better right. when, I, when I do that. Smile on your face. All right. Um, next one, Brad. This is one you probably can't do in the office very easy. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what your office is like. Maybe you can do it. But I've got do, a plinth. We're going to do cat and camel here. So... Now some Just people like are going to call this else, but we're, we're sticking to cat and camel on this, right? What, what do they call it? Well, I, I always get confused, and I always apologize to the yoga people, but we're going to call oh, this they the have cat a, and They camel. have a name for it, huh? Right, they're, we're, we're doing it wrong. And to but. really ex excessively do it, you want to go ahead and go head down. And then head up like this. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see here with Bob's shirt, but 
if we pull it down, you know, he's getting that arch in the back. Yeah. So we're getting full range of motion throughout the, the, the back. Yeah, quite often some of that um, knots can be coming from the mid back, the thoracic sure. area. So yeah. you want to go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, I would say even extensions over, um, over the, you know, the hallelujah stretch over the, we should probably have a ball though, shouldn't we? Yeah. Here you go. Oh my God, Bob, why? <laughs> You're hoping you didn't have to use he it. He always right? doesn't tell me so I could get the real ball. Yeah, I always right. have to use the, the one that it's a therapy for Bob though, because he he knows the Packers are, are gonna win and beat the Vikings this year. They're a football team in case you don't know. Uh, th this is actually uh this works good, this padded yeah. ball. I told you, it actually it's a good ball for it. One that won't work good is like a basketball or something right. hard like that. You need something with some squish. Good in squish it. to yep. it. This actually is a really good one for not spread because yeah. You can work it up and down the spine and oh, get the different areas exactly. of it, so it works out quite well. All right, where are we at? Next one. Um, well, let's go ahead and, and do the wall ones. Lonnie, can you get adjusted over here? Again, this works on posture, and believe it, you know, quite often posture is the problem with, mm -hmm. with the knots. Right. So this is tightening up all the muscles, strengthening the muscles, and, and hopefully maybe giving you some relief. We can just do wall angels. So you're going to bring them up. And then down. Just this, it's this tightening all the muscles. Saying that Bob is an angel by any way, <laughs> any means. But you know, it's good to try. See, it was getting those Yeah, it, it really is stretching everything too, I'll yeah. tell ya. These feel better than you think they do, Brad. Oh, I believe it, Bob. Yeah. I, I'll try I'll, it. Yeah, I'll try it. Do it, yeah, try no, it. Oh gosh. Yeah, because this is one I've got those tight shoulders, you know. Yeah. This this is pretty challenging for me, but I should probably do this more. I've been actually, working on my pull-ups, Bob. Yeah, those are great. I actually like the, the feel oh, of these. Yeah, it definitely works well. It's okay. a good, good option. Um, another one, you can just put your hands behind your head, elbows to the wall, and you're going to go ahead and stretch like this. This is a really nice one for that thoracic yep. area right It's that there. area. Again, you find out which ones work for you, and those are the ones you do. Right, exactly. Which ones you like. You got the ball in the sock, Brad? Oh, of course, Bob. You want to show that one <laughs> rather so, than whip it at me? So what we have is, is a lacrosse ball. A tennis ball works just as well. Uh, some Depends on what you like. Lacrosse ball is a little harder, a little more aggressive. But the, the reason you put it in the sock is not to use it for a weapon, but to put it on your back. And you've got to put it over that muscle right there. Uh, get it over that trigger point. And between the wall and that trigger point is the ball. And the sock is just so you can position it. And once it's there, you don't need the sock. And right there, I'm on it. Yeah. And once you get on it, you can feel it. You can kind of yeah. massage the oh, area yeah. like that, or you can just put the pressure on it oh. and, and hold it and try to get Stop that sugar about to release. I'm, I'm really hitting a spot right now. It really Sorry does. Sorry about you, <laughs> Brad, while you're going through your... It does get it good, though. I'm yeah, telling it does. you. I'm not, it gets the spot. i got to get up over here. Let's go to the next one. All I could right. be here all day. Next one, foam roller. This is a really nice foam roller from OPTP. Did they get that plug in good, Brad? Yeah, that, it, it really is. <laughs> this, it, it's a little softer yep. of a foam roller. Yep. It's the softest one I've seen. It's I mean, a I different think, material, I think too. they make one a little softer than that. Uh -huh. um, that might be the medium density. I think they have a low one, this too. This is like a rubber, almost. Yeah. I mean, and, so. and look at the color, Bob. It, yeah. it makes you smile. So you can definitely work things. You can lift up the butt and really work you know, the upper yeah. shoulders here, and work down into this ra range in here. They, they make a higher density, that's what this one is. It's, it's notably harder, and it, it's a little more aggressive, and some people do like that. But uh, do you do this one, Brad? Do you just lie on the roll? Yep, I like that Once lying one. It's very that. relaxing. And this, by the way, is also from OPTP. It's called the Pro Roller Arch, and this works nice for this type of activity. I will, I will do the roll just like you did, Bob on my upper back. Sure. And this is why I like the three foot one because this is one of those things that's, when things are, you just want to relax and let the posture go back like this. And I usually go without this, but yeah, you don't are, even need the arch, do you? There are people that are gonna find that that's a little too far down on their head and putting that in there is more comfortable. Yeah, and you would actually look better without it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it, for me, I, I like it down like this. I can do my chin tucks a little bit there, 
and, and I'll just I'll just lay here and, and listen to the music or whatever for you know for a couple of minutes at least. This is and good for thoracic outlet yeah, syndrome. It just too, lets the those shoulders go back and keeps that spine in good alignment. So yep. there you go. All right. A couple more products. We thought thought we'd finish up with products, you know, uh, that it may be helpful. This is the back knobber, I believe. Yep. Right? Yeah. And there's also Theracane. We're not, you know, particular to one type of cane. But they both work well. Yeah. This I really like these things. I, yeah. I keep one around the house. In fact, we have a, a, one of the Theracanes around here, and, and uh, my other therapist was just saying that he thinks nursing came and got it because they, yeah, they, you know, they, they, they'll come and get it. And you can just you can hit the spot, you can you can uh, you can hit the spot and even work on turning while you do it. Yep. It seems to help. I know you like to really like lay down and crank on it, don't you, Brad? Like you get well, underneath like this. Yeah, I don't have one of those at home, but if I want to get into something, that's what like I'll this, do. This you can really leverage it. Yeah, lay right down flat once, Bob. Well, I'll let you do it. If you, I'm not sure how you do it. <laughs> oh, I see. You're getting your low back on that one. Well, too. yeah, but you can go either way. But you know, it just takes a oof, just a little bit. I mean, you got a lot of leverage there. Wow, this is much more aggressive than the ball on the wall. But if I hold that there for a while, it's starting to relax, good. That's okay, the key Brad. to this, this stuff, okay. All right, well, we're coming to the end here, Brad. I think that's yeah. enough things for people to try. Hopefully one of them will work. And uh, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Yeah, except for that, oh, that the broken heart. There it is, there here, it let's, is. let's hook it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.